A historic Kalamazoo street will be rebuilt this year. A key component of the work has to deal with the bricks that have been used for more than a century. New at 6, David Horak explains why they have to go, but won't be gone for good. Seeing history is one thing, but driving over it is another, and Kalamazoo drivers have done so for the last hundred years in certain sections of the city. Thompson Street by Kalamazoo College, Academy Street, and here on Ransom Street. But these particular bricks come next fall will be at the end of their road. These have been out here a hundred years, but you see they've also had some wear over a hundred years. They're low spots, they're patches. But it's what's below the clay bricks that requires the most attention. City traffic engineer Dennis Randolph says water and sewer issues combined with patch concrete band-aids requires an overhaul. Plus, the street will be a busy temporary detour during Kalamazoo Avenue's reconfiguration project. The problem is you can't save a street like this if you're putting in sewer and water. They're too deep, they cause too much disruption. So that's what's leading to us having to take these out. And we couldn't just cut it down the middle and say, let's fix it. That wouldn't work. Thank you, commissioners. The items on the consent agenda are approved. Monday night, city commissioners gave the financial go ahead for the Ransom Street project. As for the bricks, nothing is set in stone, but there are some ideas. There's a lot of people who are really looking at moving around without using automobiles and riding bikes and walking and being safe when they cross the street. The so city and partnering organizations like the Northside Association for Community Development considering using the bricks for pedestrian safety measures like bump outs. Other ideas include building a kiosk explaining the North Side's history with them. You're doing the old and the new, but the North Side Cultural Business District is set up to say, yes, you can come across the tracks and still see great things. What is for sure is that the city and its neighborhoods are planning to keep them around maybe even for another century. They're, they're good material. They've lasted 100 years. They've got more life in them. Sidewalks, again, bump outs, decorative things around the city. We can do a lot of things with the material. Again, Randolph says the construction timeline is set to start this spring and end next fall, 2024. And he says they are aware that there could be some overlap construction-wise between this and the two-way reconfiguration on Kalamazoo Avenue. We are in Kalamazoo. David Horak, News 8.